Welcome to Hope Summit 2016. Hi, that's right. My name is Della Ferguson. My name is Dan Kruger. And we're honored to be your MCs this afternoon. Hope Summit has been a dream that has been 11 months in the making. It was born from a meeting of Journey to Hope in January, where I asked the question, what do we feel is the greatest need that we need to address in our community? What's the greatest barrier to hope that we are aware of? And, and how can we affect change and remove the barriers? The word stigma came up over and over again. Stigma. Hmm. And what strategy will we use to address this elephant in our community? Hmm. We needed an event. And Jan said, TED Talk. And my heart raced. And I went, yes, that's it. Right? Like, seriously, I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> like, <laughs> we were vibrating. But that, we said, I said, like, that's bigger than we are as Journey to Hope. It, it has to involve the whole community. Let's put it out there and, and let's see what happens. And so I sent out the invitations and the answers came. Dream it, and they will come. The table was filled with the most amazing individuals, and my heart raced. I'm calling them the dream team, I thought to myself, and so the dream team they have been ever since. We brainstormed and bantered and put together our TED Talk application and submitted it right away. And within a week, I received the rejection. <laughs> <laughs> Our focus was too narrow. I will never forget that moment. I read the email, and then I looked out my front window. And at that moment, hundreds of cedar wax wings descended upon our front lawn. And I watched in complete awe, and of course I had my iPhone, and I clicked like crazy. And then I felt complete peace. And I thought, our topic is too important to narrow down, or to water down. And I asked the universe, if not TED Talk, then what? And in that moment, the words, Hope Summit, filled my spirit. And I emailed the dream team, letting them know that our application had been declined. And I invited anyone that wanted to carry on with a TED Talk to please do so, because it's such a worthy endeavor. But those that wanted to carry forward with this Hope Summit idea, then we invite you to join us. Every single one of them said, I'm in. Friends, the Hope Summit was born. And it was born only after a barrier was put in our way for the dream. How poignant is that? And what a journey this has been. Indeed. As you know, Della and, and everybody, I have had the privilege of working with these speakers over the last couple of months, helping them to shape their stories and prepare for this afternoon. And, and I just want to tell you how incredible these, these speakers are. They're really, truly amazing individuals. I remember Actually, we had more uh, people apply to speak here today than we could fit into an afternoon program. So our first job was to select that down to a few speakers and stories that we could share. But we also wanted a few other, pe those people that didn't get to share here today, we've offered them to develop videos so that they will be a part of the, of the Hope Summit Legacy Project. So I just want everybody to know that. And that's the first plug I'm going to make, hopesummit.ca. Um, You'll find a lot of resources there and, and all of the speeches, you've seen cameras around, all of the speeches that are presented here today will be posted on that website eventually as, as they're edited. Back to the speakers though, I remember our first meeting and, and I'll, I'm going to describe it as a little bit awkward as we kind of stumbled over our, our, our words, introducing ourselves and I think collectively all asking ourselves, what am I doing here? <laughs> what did I get into? 
But after that, we got into the second meeting and, and, and the speakers, they, they started to share their stories and, and we began to see the commonalities that we have with their stories and between the stories. And, and, and we were there for each other to you know, open up a little bit and push those boundaries and get a little bit further in sharing more details and, 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 and taking a step back sometimes. And it was, it was a very long process and, and an incredible process. And then the next meeting, the next meeting, the next meeting, you just saw this transformation happen with all of these individuals. And, and, and we're gonna see the final product here today, but I want you guys to understand a couple of things. One, that a lot of work went into this. And two, that public speaking is a terrifying thing to do. I, I can tell you, with, I've got butterflies right now, you know, just standing up here, and I don't even have anything really important to share other than where the bathrooms are. <laughs> but, but I will get to that. The, the thing I want you guys to understand is that it's, it's terrifying to do public speaking but because it's, it's vulnerable and all eyes are on you and, and your people are listening to your words intently and only you. And to take it to the next level and share something very personal about yourself, your experience, it takes a whole new level of courage and, and strength. And honestly, it's just awesomeness that they can get up here and do that. And, and so by our applause, I want to acknowledge that because it takes a lot of trust. They are trusting us with their stories and I want them to know and we can let them know by our applause right now that they can trust us with their stories. I want to acknowledge the dream team. Wherever you are, if you're a part of the dream team, please stand. Some of them are probably out in the hallway. They are amazing. Absolutely amazing. These are individuals that believe so much in the power of hope and in spreading the light of hope in every possible way that we can. I couldn't have been more honored to work with every one of you. Fast forward 11 months, and here we are. Wow, welcome. I am so glad that you chose to be here. It's going to be a powerful afternoon. <laughs>